Hi, YouTubies. I don't know why I did the millennial pause right there. I feel like I usually get right into it. Hi, YouTubies. It's me, Zachary Michael. Also, also, double the also, double the fun. Um, today, I wanted to learn more about Rose Red Homestead. You might, you, you might remember her from the infamous video where we learned how to bug out from her and her friend Cindy. I think that was her name, Cindy. And we learned about Chicken Snoodle Noop, you know? <laughs> so I thought we could go in and check in on her. It might just be kind of like, I haven't really prepped any of these videos. Nobody has really thoroughly vetted any of these videos. But she has some interesting thumbnails. Like, look at this. Look at her over here. Let me make it bigger for you so you can really see the thumbnail. Oh my god, where did it go? Where did it go? Where, where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, it's right here. Annihilate botulism. <laughs> also, if you don't know, she's not necessarily short. She does often just sit. Annihilate botulism. So we're going to start there. And then we might go check out this video about dehydrating and freeze drying eggs. Because, wow, doesn't that sound yummy? Like the idea of dehydrating eggs and then like maybe eventually rehydrating them kind of sounds gross as a concept to me. And then, you know, we'll just jump around from here and there. But I figured we can start with annihilate botulism because it seems... It seems, somebody in the chat said, this seems so metal. And I'm like, kinda. Kinda. <laughs> so, uh, Twitch friends and family and colleagues. Well, you're none of those things to me. Twitch, <laughs> Twitch chat. I'm not friends with any of y'all. I'm so sorry. Twitch chat. If you're ready. Could, could you put uh, could you put some 69s in the chat? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. But yeah, we're basically just going to learn more. I need to know more. I need more info. Also, I'm hungry. <laughs> Good morning oh! and welcome to Rosemary Homestead. Now, why did that start? Love, no, Miss Ma'am, why did you start we, talking? We. I am friend. MZA said so. I didn't push a damn thing. I didn't push a damn thing. She's so quiet. Is that already an issue we knew about? She's giving quiet to me. Let me see if I can't turn her up this way a little bit. All right. All right, let's just get to get to. Is she? She what? You did? You weren't getting quiet? Oh, and also this says annihilate, in case you can't read, it says annihilate botulism by thermal death. All right, here we go. Good morning and welcome to Rosemary Homestead. And thank you so much for joining our community for this video today. Uh -huh. Our community focuses on self-reliance, improving self-reliance, improving food security in our homes, and working more toward emergency preparedness. Lately, we've been focusing on safe canning, which is what today's video is about. Also, I don't know why this all made me think about this. Oh, she is giving Lois Griffin teas for sure. <laughs> She's giving Lois Griffin combined with Kathy Mitchell. She's a bit loud on your end? That is so crazy because she's so quiet to me. What is going on? What is going on? Do y'all think it's a wig? It looks more natural here, but the video we watched last time, I thought it looked... I thought it was giving wig, for sure. Did you just say wig? Also, what was I going to say about her? Mm. <gasps> oh, last time we watched her, people were speculating that they might be Mormons. A lot of people commented that it was giving... It was giving Mormonism. It was giving... Things that they've heard uh, Mormons in their community talk about or say. I don't really... I, I do know a lot about the Mormon religion and history just in general. But, like, 
I don't currently interact with a lot of Mormons, so I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. And we deeply appreciate how many of you have helped us get that word out by subscribing to our channel and by liking the videos, if indeed you do like them, and then by sharing them. <laughs> if you do indeed like them. Don't come out here and like these videos if you don't genuinely actually like them, okay? So today's topic is how to annihilate botulism. And I'm going to start by showing you this. <laughs> what the fuck is that? I just, it sounds so serious to say annihilate, annihilate botulism, annihilate. This is a baked potato wrapped in foil. Uh-huh. And it has been at room temperature for now several hours. Okay. Um, in 1994 in El Paso, Texas, where actually I used to live and raise my children when they were smaller, there was a Greek restaurant who... They baked several potatoes and... What in the fucking history lesson? Are we getting a history lesson on botulism? <laughs> we're, getting, we're getting Pam's lore. We're getting botulism's lore. Left them in the foil and left them out on their countertop for three or four days and then used those potatoes in making a potato dip. Uh-huh. Well, 30 people that came to eat in that restaurant got botulism illness. 30 people. Fortunately, 30? <laughs> 30 people got botulism from the potato dip. I want to hear more about the potato dip. That, I know she just said that people got botulism from it, but a potato dip? That sounds delish. Fortunately, no one died, but some of them... Oh, no one died. No one died in El Paso, Texas from botulism. <laughs> no one died. It's giving, um, it's giving... Let me see if I can quickly find the clip. <laughs> it's giving no one died at Stonewall. Oh, not Rosie having a secret. Not Rosie having a secret. Okay, no one died at Stonewall. It's like when people don't know what Stonewall is. You know what I mean? They, well, won't, you tell, like, won't you tell everybody what that is? That was fighting for gay rights, mm -hmm. and people were killed. Nobody they were, was killed at Stonewall. Nobody was <laughs> killed? Nobody was killed at Stonewall. <laughs> it's like when people don't know what Stonewall is. You know what I mean? They, well, won't, you tell, like, won't you tell everybody what that is? That was fighting for gay rights, mm -hmm. and people were killed. Nobody they were, was killed at Stonewall. Nobody was <laughs> killed? Nobody was killed at Stonewall. <laughs> Anyways, uh, nobody, nobody was killed. Nobody died from botulism at the Greek restaurant in El Paso, Texas in 1994. <laughs> so don't leave your cooked offs, your cooked offs out on the counter for three days. Revolutionary. How could we have known? Someone tell King Cobra JFS. I, I know, crazy. Also, I just can't imagine running a restaurant and being like, yeah, just leave those baked potatoes sitting out on the on the counter. We'll come back to them in three days and make a dip. Very critically ill for quite a long time. So botulism and potatoes wrapped in foil, how could that possibly happen? Well, we'll get to that in just a few minutes. <laughs> Before 1950, the oh, we are really, we are really getting fucking lore right now. What, what? It happened in 1950 that I could give a shit about. Just tell me how to annihilate the botulism. The so botulism in the United States was between three and 4,000 cases per year. And then in about 1950 was when the USDA got involved and said, you know, this has just got to stop. Most of these cases just, are foodborne illness. It's just and gotta stop. And many, many of them, the large majority, are from home canned food. Lo love when love when the government intervenes to stop botulism, but the <laughs> but the the government won't intervene or didn't intervene to stop the AIDS epidemic. Thank you so much, Ronald Reagan. Born illness, and so as they began testing and getting the research results out, that is what laid the foundation for the safe canning processes that we practice oh, today. Oh, good, good. Now, since safe canning practices have been widely distributed, the incidence of botulism in the United States is now only about 100 per year. But what, but what the fuck does that have to do with a baked potato wrapped in foil? <laughs> 
but it happens. A year and a half ago in Colorado, they had their first botulism death in oh. over a decade. Somebody, somebody was killed in, in Colorado. And so it still happens. And that's really, it's a good thing that the incidence Ooh, zoom has in dropped more. Zoom from in between more. Three and 4,000 a year to 100 a year. That's the good news. The bad news on that is that it also helps people to conclude that because hardly anybody ever gets botulism anymore, we don't need to pay that much attention to the safe canning rules. Now, you know who doesn't pay attention to safe canning rules? Didn't, didn't old uh, Tabby from Southern Wife Everyday Life, didn't she... Doesn't she call herself a rebel canner? And she, <laughs> she's just like, I just do what I want. Oh, and Mima, Mima is too. Well, I'm, I'm glad Miss Ma'am over here, Miss Pamela, <laughs> Lois Griffin. I'm glad Lois Griffin. I'm glad she, uh, she practices safe canning. Our community rejects that premise wholeheartedly. We know that. Botulism still exists. Uh -huh. We know that it is a possibility, even a probability, when we can foods. Okay. So we are going to talk about how we can annihilate botulism. Let's annihilate and it. in our own homes with our own canning, reduce that probability to zero. So oh, we'll get she's so intense. <laughs> Zero. Does is she not feel very intense to y'all? I'm kind of. No, I'm not. <laughs> I was gonna say I'm kind of turned on, but I'm not. I'm not even a little bit. I'm not even a little bit. It makes me think though. I, it makes me think. Of, I know some of y'all are like so disgusted by the concept of uh, Milf Manor, but there's a woman on Milf Manor two season two, and her name's Barbie, and she keeps talking about getting the coochie tingle. <laughs> And I'm like, ooh, Miss Pam. But no, no coochie tingles over here. <laughs> no coochie tingles. <laughs> right to it. Not Zach getting the bussy tingle. What is this? Is this the intro? You've already been talking for three and a half minutes. <laughs> Why are we getting an intro uh, title card now? What is this about? Girl, I don't need to get copyright claimed on your... Who's that? What was that? What was that? That is not what Miss Ma'am looks like anymore. What was that? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're muting it just so... I don't know. Just so nobody tries to copyright claim this. I don't have the time. Oh, there's the four-wheelers. Were these old-ass pictures of her in the slideshow the last time? I don't remember. That is not an accurate photo of what Miss Pam looks like anymore. I'm, I'm sorry, Miss Ma'am. I'm glad the more recent videos have taken that out. Jim and Pam Cantrell. <gasps> I used to, um, well, I, he, I didn't, wasn't an RA with him, but I knew a guy who was an RA at my undergrad. His last name was Cantrell. I'm sure it was of literally no relation. <laughs> I don't even know him that well. Milk Manor season one is so different to season two. I, I, well, my friends introduced me to season two, so I haven't watched season one, but I would like to go back and watch season one. Did he like to can too? I don't think so. Oh, Blue Cantrell, like Blue Cantrell, like hit him up style. Y'all know that song? I just searched their name and found their divorce proceedings. <laughs> Wait, what? That's crazy. I would also not encourage anybody to, like, go seek out stuff like that. But I guess they are putting their full first and last name out. Maybe that's why the photos aren't in there anymore. I, but I feel like I've seen him on her channel. She, he's still in the um profile. Is that not Jim? Is that not Jim right there? Or is that some other old man? Oh, yeah, let's not put that in the chat. That doesn't need to be in the chat. Let's not do all that, please. I don't know how to delete just this message, though, because I'm inept. <laughs> do I got a, do I got a, uh, do I got a moderator who can uh, delete that message for me? Oh, well, 
Okay, thank you so much, Shay. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah, no, that's a that's a um, that's a little messy and not necessary. I I I don't think you meant ill will. Uh, I think you were just trying to be informative. Um, but yeah, that feels like a lot to do. Also, you followed up and said this might not have been them. But that's the first thing that comes up on Google. Okay. Yeah. So that's probably why we shouldn't, uh, we shouldn't run all of that and like post links like that in the chat and things like that in the future, just for, for the record. <clears throat> but, um, but thanks. I, I, I feel like you were, you were trying to be well-intentioned just like in the future, let's not do that. Oh, also, why do I still got pink fairy pulled up? There's the old doing laundry off grid. Now what am I what am I trying to do? <laughs> but also this is not what they look like anymore, just for the record. No. Oh, she's the back. The word botulism has come to mean three different She things. doesn't even look like that now in this video. And this is an an older video, I think. This is a video from three years ago. But she doesn't even look like the pictures in her little slideshow intro now. Hi, Miss Lisa. Happy to have you in the chat. And I want to clarify that. So, first of all, um, botulism often refers to the organism, the bacteria itself. Okay. Whose name is really uh, Clostridium botulinum. Not, not you using this full government name. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> not you using her full government name. It's just called botulism. Also, botulism is a reference to the illness that you get. And the third is the botulism toxin itself. Okay. And so when people say botulism, it can mean any one of those three things. Isn't it also Botox? Is it, does it Botox come from there? Is it, is it Botox and botulism related? So we have to sort of keep things know, in I'm context. Kind of when I'm talking about the organism today, I'm going to talk about... Oh, I'm not stupid. Y'all are saying yes in the chat. Okay, stunning. Clostridium botulinum. And when I talk about Stop the toxin, using I'm her going to say... name. <laughs> botulism toxin, so that you'll know. And then about the illness, I'm going to say botulism illness. So I'm going to use those three so you'll know okay. which I'm talking about. <clears throat> so let's first of all talk about the life cycle of Clostridium botulinum. I don't... Can you just tell me how to annihilate it? <laughs> oh, here's the most replayed. Do we just skip to the most replayed part? Because I also do kind of want to look at the, the dehydrated eggs. <laughs> this is, she's doing too much, but I'll go to most love, replayed. Love, love my cream all wheat, wheat. E-U, E-U, C-E-W, Chi, C-E-W, Chi. She be a lady of potato. Safety of history of canning for the disaster of the squirrels falling down on us all. She looks like that now it's internet world and she is not real. She's a robot kiddo. I think she's real, Marsha. Thanks so much for the 100 bits. Appreciate it. Is this a printout she made to remind herself to annihilate botulism? I think so. I'll, uh... I'll rewind just a little bit so we can maybe get um, a little bit of context. Oh, here is how we begin to annihilate <laughs> this. Oh, here is how we begin to annihilate. annihilate. <laughs> so spooky. She's so intense. This organism. We annihilate the spores of Clostridium botulinum in the canning process by thermal death. We kill those suckers off by getting the temperature up high enough that thermal thermal death. Annihilate botulism by thermal death would be a great name for a band. Are completely destroyed. Well, what are those temperatures? In the 1950s, when the USDA began their testing, they ultimately determined that the proper killing temperatures are between 240 degrees to 250 degrees Fahrenheit, which translates to 115 degrees to 121 degrees Celsius. I feel like she could have just told us that from the beginning. <laughs> like if I if I'm clicking on this on this video so that I can learn, I don't want to sit through all that other shit. Just tell me what I need to do. 
<laughs> tell me what I need to do. And then those temperatures need to be held for a prescribed time. How do we do that? How do we get I don't know. this jar of carrots so that Not the inside, the, the center of this jar where the food love, is, love, love gets friend. up to 240 degrees? Sounds like a proper killing temperature to me. Lizzie, thanks so much for the 100 bits. Appreciate it. 250 degrees and is held there for the prescribed time that the USDA indicates. You know what? That's not easy. It's above the boiling point. So what's the boiling point where you live? Most of us are going to automatically say 212 degrees or 100 degrees Celsius, depending on whether it's Fahrenheit or Celsius, uh -huh. because that's what we're taught in our high school science classes. And that is right, provided we live at sea level. We live here on the Colorado Plateau in southern Utah at 5,000 feet in elevation. Our boiling point is 203, not 212 oh, wow. Fahrenheit. As elevation increases, boiling point decreases. And so that is why the USDA had to test everything and their uh, <laughs> charts showing processing. She is, uh, <laughs> she is so intense. Love, love, love my cream all wheat, wheat. Do y'all think she's also a four-year-old war World War II vet like George? I don't think so, no. I don't think so. She's not wrong, though. Making hard-boiled eggs when I lived in Colorado was tricky. Yeah, oh, of course. I don't think she's wrong. She's just so intense. Like, she's so fucking serious about annihilating this botulism, y'all. She is not playing fucking games. In times and pounds pressure is uh, so critical because the only way we can get water up to that temperature uh -huh. is by putting it under pressure. Pressure under and pressure. temperature are do, do, mathematically do. linked. If do, do, we know do, do, what do. the pressure... You know that song? Pressure coming down on me. Do, 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 do. Dee, 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 dee. Is we can calculate what the temperature is. And I don't know that I need to know about all of this, actually. <laughs> Do we think we've learned enough? <laughs> I don't think I need to actually know anymore. I, I think I've learned. I would like to learn about the eggs. Not Marsha going boring. Marsha's always going to tell me how it is. <laughs> I feel like I know all there is I need to know about annihilating botulism. You know what I don't know everything about? I don't know everything about, uh, I don't know everything about making dehydrated eggs. <laughs> I think we should learn a little bit about that. Agree, Marsha Gurley? Wow, y'all just really want to let me know when I'm being boring as hell. A am I being boring or is the content boring? Am I transforming the content into something you enjoy at the very <laughs> least? At the very least, is this making you giggle? Giggle gaggle? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm gaming right now. This is my background noise. That's fine. That's, that's chill. <laughs> I was intrigued. Okay. Should have scheduled a debate watch party i will not be tuning into any part of a debate between two geriatric losers that i don't give a shit about um anyways i should that's rude to the geriatric community <laughs> I, sh I shouldn't do all that <laughs> uh can we please just watch zach just have a good time is that not what we're already doing is that not Okay, I do, I do just want to see what dehydrated eggs look like. Womp womp. Zucky Musk, thanks so much for eight months of subscribing with Prime. Appreciate it. A lot of people we watch are boring. That's the charm. Zach makes us laugh. That's so true. All right, anyways, let me see. Let me see these dehydrated eggs. Mmm, I'm already like, this just looks so yummy. 
It looks it looks so good. Uh, when do we get the Rat Boy tier list? Um, once I make the tier list mechanism, <laughs> I need to do it. I just have it. I haven't dedicated time to that yet. All right, I just want to see. Welcome we to Rose Red Home. We also don't have to stay committed to this for too long. I, again, I just want to. I just want to see. Homestead. Uh, today's video is both fun and very, very important. Okay. We are going to talk about how to safely dry eggs for long-term storage. Dry so we'll eggs. In just a She's a little less intense in this video. Moment. Oh wait, she's got this. Let's see if her her husband is still in the. Oh, there he is. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Okay, fast forward. I don't need to do all this again. Oh, oh, but not too much. Not too much, y'all. Okay. Um, I ran an experiment. I'm always experimenting uh -huh. yesterday. And um, these are actually six eggs that I dehydrated in our regular dehydrator yesterday. I have not yet powdered them. They just come out in these beautiful little flakes. You can dehydrate eggs two ways. You can scramble them first and then dehydrate the scrambled bits. But also, why, yeah, I, I'm with a lot of y'all. Why would we want to do all this? And that is really yucky. <laughs> My opinion. <laughs> um, the other way to do it. <laughs> she said that is fucking gross. My opinion, just, just my opinion, do, do what works for you and your family. Is to, uh, it's what we're going to demonstrate today, which is breaking them um, into the container of a blender, and then we're going to blend them up a little bit, okay. and then put them in these little trays that uh -huh. um, came with my dehydrator. If your dehydrator does not have trays like this, you may have to improvise using plastic wrap or something lining your trays okay. in order to be able to do that. So let me tell you what I do before I ever dehydrate anything and that includes eggs. Uh, it's great if you have chickens because you can't always use all the eggs so dehydrating them can give them a longer shelf life. Oh, good to know. Is she going to cook the eggs and then dehydrate them, or is she going to dehydrate them uncooked? I think about how I want to... Is she sitting or standing? I think she's currently standing. Use them after the fact. She looks tall. When they are powdered like this, how am I going to be using them? Oh, well, that's a for great the most question. part, I'm going to be making scrambled eggs or omelets for breakfast, or I'm going to be adding them to baked goods, cakes and pancakes and waffles, um, scones, which is... Something I'm working on right now, a whole new a set of recipes. Um, I and love so a scone. I want those eggs to rehydrate in a raw state. And it is very important then that we pay careful attention to the temperature at which we are going to be dehydrating. Wait, so she is dehydrating them raw. Love, love, love my cream all wheat, wheat. Carly, the old Carly. Thanks so much for 13 months of subscribing at Tier 1. Appreciate it, bestie. Now, an egg, once it gets up to about 140 after it's out of the shell, um, then the there are some proteins in the albumin, which is the white part of the egg. She does know a shit ton about food. How are you going to come out here and use words like albumin? Girl, I don't know. <laughs> Just say egg white, girl. I don't, I don't know what the fuck that means. That start to coagulate at 140. We don't want that to happen. We want to keep it in its raw state. And so be sure when you set your dehydrator that you set it to 140 or below, 138. If you can set it that low. Mine goes in, in increments of about 9 degrees. Okay. Um, so I dehydrated these uh -huh. <clears throat> at about 140 and it took about a piece of them are still in there, the middle. These aren't completely flat and so it was thicker right here in the middle uh -huh. and so I just had to lift this part out and it's back over in the dehydrator on a little plastic lid in the dehydrator so that um, it can finish. Okay. I kind of actually think I'm more interested. Does she show her cooking? Cooking with them? Okay, no, this is her. She blended them up. She's blending them. They're blended. They're blended. She's going to put them on the trays. 
She's pouring so them on the trays. So this is eight eggs. And it just fills that tray perfectly. So I'm going to slide the white tray back onto the... That's crazy. I want to see her use them. What is this? Wait, what is this? And um, only this time I would put 18 eggs in here. Do the same That's thing. A whole lot of eggs. And I poured them into four of our freeze dryer trays. Oh, okay. And then um, I put these outside. It's just a different dehydrator, it seems like. Is, oh, she's wearing something different Great. here. So we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. It is a gorgeous Hi. fall morning here on the... That, that wig is wigging. That hair is hairing. It's so round. Colorado Plateau. And my favorite cameraman is standing right there. What could be better? Um, so we are um, going to just do a quick check-in on our dehydrated eggs. Here are the three trays that we oh. put in yesterday. They were... Um, They've been processing for 13 hours. As you can see, they're really dry around the edges, but not so much right here. So it's uh -huh. the same thing. This is my trial run, and um, these eventually did get dry, so we'll be adding those to uh, what we powder in a little while. But for right now, because these are all done on the edge. I don't, I don't love it. Uh <laughs> I love it. I don't want these to process anymore. Because they're also raw. So I'm just going to uh, pick up the edges, put them in this pan, and then I'm going <laughs> to... Fried um, eggs by the leg. <gasps> leave the centers in place, and we'll put those back in the dehydrator probably for another couple of hours. These process so far for 13 hours, and um, I imagine... Yep, it'll be at least two or three hours before those will be done as well. I went outside this morning. I've been out several times checking the eggs in the freeze dryer, and I'm happy to report that they are now, after 17 hours, on the final dry. And um, oh, so wow. they're probably... I'm so, I'm so thrilled you got to report that. Zach would only get one tablespoon of egg powder a week, probably, from my cardiologist. Okay, oh. Powdering them also keep most of the nutrition so you can use them like normal eggs. I love that as a concept. I've just literally, I'm, we're learning. This is an education channel. This is education, y'all. We're, <laughs> we're transforming content. When, remember when we found out TTS reads out anus? Yeah, I do remember that. Well, and I'm going to get into all of that after we come back. In a Wait, she was talking about botulism there? To stave off botulism as well. And I'm going to get into all of that after we come back and are ready to make the She's always thinking about the old botulism, isn't she? So we will see you when everything is all finished and we're ready to powder it up. Okay, Good work. morning. The freeze dryer finished after dark last night, 27 oh. hours to do these eggs. And I checked my um, log book and that's exactly how many hours it took the first time we did freeze dried eggs. Oh, wow. um, this is the uh, pan of dehydrated eggs. Uh, oh wait, oh, oh. Wee, wee. oh. The botulism monster. Jamie, thanks so much for the 100 bits. I just realized one's freeze dried, the other one's dehydrated. <laughs> I was like, why are they different? <laughs> oh, she's doing both. She's terrible at explaining her process. She's not terrible. I just skipped around. I just skipped around, bestie. I, if anything, I'm terrible at explaining her process. <laughs> Listen, we're just having fun. Oh my God, where did that go? I had earrings sitting here on my desk and I just knocked them off. And I don't know where that other one fell to. I'm just worried I'm going to step on it. Oh, this is... Is this... Are y'all entertained? Is this what y'all came here today for? Is this the... <laughs> is this the show y'all signed up for? Uh, the last little middle sections took about um, 15 hours to do. So our next step is going to be to powder these eggs. Okay, powder them. And then them. we're going to rehydrate them. I Happy 10 months, sisters in Christ and fellow women in STEM. Yes, absolutely. No shoes, no probs. Thanks so much for 10 months of subscribing. Appreciate it. Love, love, love my cream. I'll wee, wee. Ainas.
Heinous. Heinous. I'm going to vacuum seal and drop in an oxygen absorber, and then we're going to talk about salmonella and botulism. So here we go. Oh, I don't know that I can talk about salmonella and botulism more. It's Inos. <laughs> it's Inos. Y'all are really going to struggle to figure out how to get her to say anus again, aren't you? <laughs> you are really going to... We're really doing all that again. You said, Miss Ma'am is an entertaining so. So let's try to figure out how to get her to say, how to get TTS to say anus again. Love, love, love my cream all wheat, wheat. Inus. Inus. <laughs> um, wait, does, I would like to just see her cook with them. Is she going to do that? Like, what is this? Like, what is this? Oh, the old, <laughs> the old Hannah Reloaded. Hey, bestie. Hi, we're just um, learning about annihilating botulism <laughs> today. Love, I'm losing love, it. I'm doing an awful love. job. I news. I news. I news. <laughs> Miss Chew Baby, thanks for the 100 bits. Um, hi, Raiders. Hello, it's me, the Zachary Mike. Love, uh, love, how love, are you Mark doing? Love, I hope you're doing well. Anus. Oh, that's an interesting way. It's currently also the chat is trying to figure out a way to get, um, a way to get love, TTS love, to say the word anus. Anus. And they're, they're failing. <laughs> they're failing. <laughs> Y'all, I'm, love, love, I'm love, dying. Anus, perhaps. Anus. Anus, <laughs> perhaps. <laughs> it's we're gonna get there. There was a way. I can't remember love, how love, love, how it worked last me. time. Anus. Oh, that one worked. Al Gurley. A H N U S S. <laughs> oh, it was love, anal love, that we couldn't get her to say. Anus. Uh oh, that worked too. That worked too, little Miss Chew Baby. <laughs> I forgot that it was anal the last time that we were struggling love, to get love, her to you. <laughs> Anyways, um, hi to everybody from Hannah's uh, from Hannah's stream. Happy to have you love, here today. Love, love my cream all wheat, wheat. A nail. Oh gosh, y'all are really trying. Maddie, thanks so much for the 100 bits. Little Miss Chew Baby, thanks for the bits too. <laughs> Also, it's like, I can't even stop to talk to the rig, because y'all... I know. I know. I know. Yep, yep, yep. Keep, keep them coming. Love, love, love my cream all wheat, wheat. E-H, no. Yeah, that one didn't work, eh? Come on, come on. TTS is taking her time. She's like, y'all motherfuckers. A news and F A China. <laughs> F H China. What? What was that one? Oh, Lizzie. Yeah, that was love, love, no. Love we, we. <laughs> A no. No. <laughs> this is too much. I think we've lost the plot. I don't know that there's much more to love, cover love, with love, Miss Rose cream, Red. We, we. E H Y no. How how does the system handle hyphens? I don't know, Harold. To be honest love, with you. Love, love my cream all wheat, wheat. A nail. Y'all are so goofy. <laughs> love, I appreciate love, all love the bits. I feel like I got behind on saying thank you for it. She's though. got some golden dehydrated eggs. Yum. What about the ketchup kiddo? Her being a robot. And all she still has squirrels hiding in her cabinets. I can say it, Ines, Ines, see, nah, nah, I want a can of eggs. Also, we are not failing. We are waiting to eat these hydrated eggs. Yum, yum, can you fill me? <laughs> not yum, yum, love, can love you fill me? me. <laughs> I news. <laughs> not yum, yum, can you fill me? <laughs> love, love, 
love, love my cream all wheat, wheat. Peanuts and Virginia. <laughs> peanuts and Virginia. <laughs> this is how you annihilate botulism. Love, love, love my cream This is it. This is it. E H Y no. I'm really obsessed because I'm so sure that all the people from Hannah's stream were like, what the fuck? I gotta go. Love, <laughs> love, like, love my cream all wheat, wheat. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> How are we not in a hype train yet? Uh, good question. It might just depend on, mm, I don't know. I don't know. But it's also fine. We don't need another hype train today. Tori Turtle, thanks so much for gifting a sub to Pap78. Appreciate it. Loaded T Squirt, thanks for the bits. Tima Tina, thanks love, for the bits. Love, love, my cream all wheat, wheat. Anal Onar Pie Nuts and Virginia. <laughs> Virginia gets me for some reason. Love, love, Virginia love, is love, just so wheat, funny wheat. to me. Join us in our quest to annihilate botulism. <laughs> Ooh, King Lit Liquor, thanks for the bits. Loaded T Squirt, thank you. Uh, Maya, thanks. Love, love, Marcia, love thank my you. Wee, wee. Little Miss True Baby, thanks. <laughs> y'all, I can already, um, <laughs> y'all, I can already anticipate the YouTubies and the re upload being like, these Twitch people are so, so annoying. They're so annoying. It's fine. I just wanted to see if she was going to cook with these. So if you, also, if you came in from the raid, this woman dehydrated and freeze dried eggs and now she's turning them into a powder. But I kind of wanted to see if she was going to cook We have a little them. bit of egg powder everywhere and we'll have to clean that up later, but everything Mood. is powdered. And um, so this is two and a half dozen. I added my experiment um, half dozen eggs to this as well. Okay. This is six dozen eggs. So we have eight and a half dozen eggs right here. Okay. One of the things that I am noticing with this is this is not Ooh. eggy. That's gloopy. I think that this is going to need a little bit more water. So I'm going to put some more water in in just a minute. But first, we're but going to get first. our um, quarter of a cup of this egg powder. This egg powder is much more fluffy. Okay. That is because the cell walls are not ruined. So I fucking love, love women in wee STEM. Wee. Anal and anus peanuts and Virginia and chemical K are how we annihilate botulism. Well, Miss Chew Baby, thanks for the bits. Appreciate it. Well, I'm putting the warm water now in the freeze dried eggs. I'm going to borrow the spoon, stir them around a little bit. Okay. And let them rehydrate. Uh -huh. And I'm going to add just a little bit more water to probably another. D it looks so two yummy. I just want to slurp it over here. I just want to slurp it. And while it. these rehydrate, I want to talk about a couple of things. I wish someone would ruin my cell walls, Maya. I I hope that for you. I hope that for you. And then Jim and I will use these for our breakfast eggs this morning. Wait, she's a science educator, like by trade. Is that like her job? Or is it just that she just somehow knows about, about it? She's a retired professor. Oh, wow. How did y'all find that out? Y'all are doing too much sleuthing. <laughs> You're doing too much sleuthing. All right. Does she cook anything with these eggs? I'm going to scramble these up really quickly and I'm going to do it in two separate batches and then I'm going to bring the plates over so you can compare the difference and I will be right back. Okay. All right. They love, both did love, great. Love my cream all wheat, wheat. She was a former science professor. It says on her website, oh. I am an investigator, the Zach 11 mag. Oh, she does have a website that she links. We can go there. We can go there. Oh my gosh, love, about love, us. Love my cream all wheat, wheat. Wait, I did look at this, this once like already. This is just like College when you're doing everything except listening to the lecture. <laughs> no, it's true, Al Girly. I'm, I'm doing an awful job actually reacting today. Both Jim and Pam are retired university professors. Jim's field is psychology. Pam's field is science education. Together they have over 75 years as professional educators and they still love teaching. 
Together they bring expertise, knowledge, humor, and wisdom wisdom to all they do in preparedness. Oh my gosh. You could say we're preppers. Oh yeah, because I read this part. You could say we're preppers, but you won't find doom and gloom in what we present. Does this give you coochie tingles, the Zach 11 anal? No, it really doesn't. <laughs> it really doesn't, little Miss Chu, baby. <laughs> right? Um, cooks just like regular eggs. Oh, they do uh, look these like regular are the eggs. Freeze dried, and these are the dehydrated. So I'm going to take just a little bite of both. The freeze dried be look better. Checking for besides taste is whether or not they are grainy. Not one bit. The mouth sounds are too much. If I did not know that eggs had been freeze dried, reconstituted, and scrambled, I never would have known. Tastes exactly like fresh. Crazy. Now, what about these? This is the dehydrated. Her, she's got the mouth sounds doing too much. <laughs> the mouth, the mouth sounds are going crazy. Oh, I forgot to make it big again. What do you What do you know about forgetting to make it big again? You know. Not grainy one bit. Not at all. Oh, good. I had read some people said that um, dehydrated and then powdered are grainy. Not one bit. Not one bit. I can't tell the difference between the two in taste or texture. Oh, good. So that's great. This is a fabulous food to have on our long-term storage shelves. And it, as, um, it will last whether we have a dehydrator or a freeze dryer. Oh, Here God. we have a very successful well, experience then, um, in dehydrating and freeze drying eggs for long term storage. Okay, well, I learned so much today. Love, love, love my cream all week. <laughs> oh, oh, she got loud all of a sudden. What did you, what did you type in there that she wouldn't read out loud for you, Marsha? Don't be using love, love, words love like cream. duck, we, duck, we. duck, or F words. The Zach 11 Virginia. <laughs> the Zach 11. <laughs> the Zach 11 Virginia. Don't be using words like duck, 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 or F words, or annual, and no kitty pussy cats. It's probably because you said the word pussy, Marsha. She wouldn't read the word pussy out. Uh, this form will not have filth in our comment community of craziness i think that this is a bunch of mouth sounds ew what you know about making mouth sounds y'all ew <laughs> all right well cool love love, love my cream all we we the zach 11 poo see <laughs> y'all are so stupid little miss chew baby thanks for the 100 bits all right youtubies i think that's uh, that's all it's gonna be today <laughs> That's, that's all that's all we got today youtubies i hope you learned so much about botulism and eggs today oh here's a clip from wauma to sign off okay you ready here is how we begin to annihilate, annihilate. <laughs> it's so spooky she's so intense here is how we begin to annihilate, annihilate. <laughs> Thanks so much for sharing that with us, Wauba. Um, okay, YouTubies, I gotta go. Bye, YouTubies! Subscribe!